Hello, my name is Gail Morton, and I'm going to show you how to use Research Library for athletic training. We're going to go to libraries.mercer.edu. I'm going to scroll down until I see Research Guides and Tutorials. I'm going to find my subject. Uh, athletic training is in health professions. So that's where I'm going to go. And here is athletic training. And here's research library ProQuest. I'm going to do a basic search. I'm going to do an Achilles rupture just to show you how this works. got 2,248 results and I got the word rupture and rupture so that's good for most of your papers you'll need scholarly journals here if I click on this then I'll get all scholarly journals not every scholarly journal is peer-reviewed so you'll want to click on this okay so peer-reviewed is let's say you're professor who has his PhD wrote an article and he sent it into a specialized journal where other people, the editors there, also have their PhD in something similar or similar background. They read it and decide if it gets published or not or if it needs a little editing. So most of your stuff you'll need peer-reviewed. Okay, You'll see this full text here. Not everything that you see here will be in full text. Sometimes there's going to be abstracts. It doesn't mean you can't have the full text of the article. We can get that through in the library loan. Here it is. Here's some other ways to limit your searching. Since you are in the medical field, you might want something a little newer. I'm just going to use this slide bar. Those are the only amount of articles that are there. Let's see what they have. Now I've got 31 results, but you can see here's the date, it's 2020, so that's good. Okay. And they're all scholarly. You can also see a hat here, that means it's scholarly. There's little icons. You can also limit it in here too. So person, scholarly is a language, we're already in research library. I'm going to leave it at that. You also see open access. That means as soon as it was published, it was readily available for free. I just put it out there. You go International Journal of Manual Medicine. Let's click on this one and see. Okay, here's your PDF full text. Doxylcycline embedded nanofibrous membranes. That's good to know. Here we go. There's your article. Okay, you can download this PDF and save it to your computer. Um, you can cite it right here. Okay, so, a lot of your citations, since this is a uh, health, will be in APA, but not all of them. So, Research Library gets a lot more gives a lot more citation styles for you to select from. So here's the APA one. You should always um, look at this to make sure it's it's correct. Sometimes it's the information is there, but how it's presented isn't right, so you'll have to edit it. Also, when you do your citation, you don't need to put in the background. Just stop at the end of the DOI right here. Done. Okay. I also want to show you a couple other things. Let's just say you love this article, and it's everything you've been looking for. On this side here, you have related items. So this will tell you if you like this, you also might want to try this. That's how you use Research Library for athletic training.